Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So tonight's video is about these attraction motors. Uh, this is a brand new one I just got built. Um, I'm going to be offering it for sale later once I get all the circuitry done. But we just have it hooked up for some testing to do. Um, it's kind of the big brother to this one that I have a lot of videos about. So these are attraction motors. There's no magnets, only electromagnets. Um, this is just mild steel. You know, it's not even electrical steel. It's just mild steel by the hardware store. And uh, this one has just a flat plate across it to kind of um, that lines it all up in a magnetic loop. Um, this one has the same, but it actually has two. So, so you have four pulses per revolution, where this one only has two. And um, obviously, this one's a lot bigger. This is all one-inch steel, solid steel. And um, I have two electromagnets right here. There's um, uh, three primary windings and one um, output winding on it. And um, it could run from 24 to 48 volts. Um, 48 volts obviously being the fastest speed. Um, this is set up at 48 volts at the moment. Two, three, four. And then charging down here in these these big monster ones. So, yeah. And um, the output goes through full bridge rectifier into the capacitor. Um, we're not really using that at the moment. But right now we're just using the regular... Um, output Bedini style with the diode off the uh, off the drain lead of the MOSFET um, yellow positive white negative and then into this cap dump and then into the 48 volt battery so you'll be able to see that dumping and then we just have a 5 amp meter here you can watch so yeah let's get it fired up um, this is a 8 millimeter shaft uh, with mountain bearings. Um, this is all starboard. So pretty cool. So yeah this is this isn't a self-starting motor. This is just a a prototype or a visual learning aid. And um, yeah, it runs really smooth so you kinda see the scope here. Let's get this adjusted a little bit better. So right here each square is fifty volts. So the top is the positive, so 51 volts, and then the bottom is the negative as it's charging up the capacitor. And um, the pulse width modulator um, works really well for all of these circuits. And um, yeah, here's the output going out. Uh, almost five amps into the second battery. We're using uh, just under an amp, about three quarters of an amp. And um, this motor is all optically timed. So it's back, and then this is what it looks like in the front. So you can see the big ring goes all the way around. And then top's just cut out, so this rotor becomes the magnetic loop. So it's pretty big. This is 9 inches by 9 inches. Uh, it's probably almost 10 pounds, uh, maybe a little bit more, the mild steel. So let's bring this up a little bit. Bring it up to 2 amps. So 2 amps um, output's pretty damn good. It's, it's pulsing away real nice. And um, so this, this will have this option. Um, so this is the regular output, but you could use the secondary. So the secondary is completely isolated. So we could actually just hook this in. So two amps, hook this right here, and now it's looping back. So we're using um, a half an amp less than we were just with the output routed back, and then the motor is going a little bit faster. And um, it actually still still will pulse out of the primary, not as much, but um, it still will. So you actually have power going back into the system, make the motor run smoother, then, then you actually still have this pulsing real slow though. It's a, probably 20% of what it was, but yeah, it still pulses. So pretty neat little motor. So this will be available at my store, kenergy.store, um, here pretty soon. And um, yeah, it's a really cool motor. And then these cap dumps are also available and um, any circuits you guys need to also. So 
yeah hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching